Ahoy hoy, it's Pavo here with another Pancast movie review. And this time it's the one that we've been waiting for since we watched the very first trailer. It's it. It's it. Uh, I've literally just come back from the cinema. Uh, after watching this movie i'm not a massive horror fan i will say that right from the start um i tend to get very tired of the usual tropes and the usual ways that they get scares so it puts me off going to see a horror movie and um i wasn't massively interested in it i've never really i've seen bits of the uh the tv mini movie if you want to call it um uh, which starred uh Oh, my God. (laughs) Tim Curry, of course, as Pennywise. Um, So I've seen little bits of it. I've never read the book. Um, So I I didn't know much about the story. Um, But when that first trailer hit, and we did a trailer reaction for it, all of a sudden I was in. All of a sudden I wanted to to know a bit more i've i've made a point of not reading or listening or watching any reviews of the movie so i went in just by watching the two or three trailers and i have to say it's a fantastic movie it's got it still leans on some of the usual horror tropes which is fine um i still don't understand if you're in a house and it has light switches why don't you turn the lights on i I still don't understand that but i also understand it builds atmosphere and it builds the dread of what, because everybody hates what's in the dark. Um, literally five minutes ago, I had to walk from my house to the shed in the dark. And so you're worried <laughs> that there's something in the dark. So it's, it's a fear. It's a fear that everyone has. So I understand that horror films have to have that. Um, but going on the, the, the thing that I think is the, crux of this movie and i think if if this didn't work the movie didn't work is the chemistry between the losers club between the seven kids and um that is faultless uh i mean every single one of those guys and gals uh are fantastic i'm gonna go through i've got the names written down i didn't have, know them off the top of my head but we have Jaden lieberher uh, as bill finn wolfhard of course from uh, stranger things as richie sophie lillis as beverly jeremy ray taylor as ben uh, chosen jacobs chosen what a great name uh, as mike uh, jack dylan grazer as eddie and wyatt olef as stanley they're the losers club now and i'm gonna I'm, it's not I mean, Finn Wolfhard does steal scenes. Um, he's the loud mouth, if you like, of the of the crew, um, and has some fantastic lines, some really good lines. And again, the one thing I like about this is they don't hold back on the language. There's lots of f's, you know, they're effing and jeffing, as we say in the UK. Um, but the the guy that that stood out for me is Jeremy Ray Taylor as Ben. Um, you have to have a token tubby guy. Uh, and what struck me is right from the first couple of scenes that he was in, he was so natural. Just, I, I, it's hard to put into words just how good that kid was. And I, I really, it, I've never seen him in anything before. Apparently he's been in Alvin and the Chipmunks movie and he was in Ant-Man. Um, so I, I can't remember. Apparently he's a bully in Ant-Man. But, but in this... As soon as he hit the screen, for some reason, he stood out to me and he stood out. Maybe I related a little bit. I don't know. Um, but the fact that all of the group, there didn't seem to be any kid actors, if that makes sense. You know, where you, you can tell. You, you've only got to look at the, the, the first couple of movies in the Harry Potter franchise. Um, Emma Watson is what I call her, is, is a, a, a kid in the movies. You know, she's very. you can tell that she's... Um, Anyway, I'm going on about that movie. I should be talking about it. Um, So that was a massive plus. The fact that they they have fantastic chemistry, um, whether they're paired off, whether it's all of them as a group, um, you really care for these guys. You really, you know, you're you're in and with in the journey with them, you know, and the fight with them and the terror with them. You know, each of them have their own fears um, and you know that part of it was fantastic uh bill skarsgård as pennywise now when i came out of the movie the first thing i thought and and just stay with me on this the first thing i thought was it reminded me not in performance or in the type of movie it is 
but to Johnny Depp in um, the very first Pirates of the Caribbean as Captain Jack Sparrow. The fact that every time he's on screen, he is mesmerising on screen. But you also wouldn't want him to be on screen any more than he is, because it would just be too much. Um, He is terrifying um, as Pennywise. And just the way the little mannerisms and the way he says things um at the start of the movie i mean it's in the it's in the trailer uh when he's about to sort of abduct georgie the way he says take it and oh it's just you know it it's 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 one of those movies that you have to see i think you have to see at the cinema if you can see it at the cinema with a lot of people is going to make the experience even better um the one thing about British audiences, they're very reserved. Um, I've seen YouTube videos of you know people watching horror movies in American cinemas and they're losing their minds um, and they are absolutely shrieking and stuff like that. You don't get that in, in British cinemas. Everybody is very... I mean, everybody will laugh when there's a big scare because they know there's a big scare. Um I noticed there was a group of girls and every time Pennywise was on the screen, uh, she hid behind a, a jacket. Uh, she didn't want to watch it. Um, and there are real moments of terror. It's a 15, but I would say it's a, it's, it's, it's on a border. I would say between 15 and 18, there's a lot of bad language in it. Um, which I think is good because it makes it natural. Um, uh, you know, the kids are, uh, Effin and Jeffin, as I said earlier on, um, there's a, there, there's gore in it, but it's not it's not like your hostile or saw kind of gore. Um, but there are, like I say, genuine scares in it. There's genuine comedy in it as well. I think, considering that that when this was first announced, um, Carrie Fukunaga was uh, Fukunaga was the uh, director originally, and he's still down as one of the writers uh, on IMDb. Um, Andrew Muschietti, Muschietti, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, is now the director, and I think they've done an amazing job. Considering, I think when they first started, a lot of people were saying, well, "Why are you doing this?" and um, when uh, Carrie left, then it was like, "Oh yeah, it's going to be another doomed project." Um, my one criticism. It's probably about 20, 25 minutes too long. I don't think it needed to be two hours and 15 minutes long. There are times that it does feel a little bit slow. Um, But overall, um, it's one of the best horror movies I've seen for a long, long time. Um, So much so that that I'm really looking forward. I hope they do a number two. Oh, well... (laughs) I, don't mean, I hope they do an it too. <laughs> That's. I hope they do a number two. Oh dear me! I'm bringing it down. Um, yeah, I hope that, uh, and I'm pretty sure it is going to kill at the box office this this weekend. Uh, I can't see any reason why not because everybody all around the world, I think, has been starved of a new film to watch. There hasn't been a really decent new film for the last couple of weeks, so I think it's going to absolutely dominate. Um, so overall for me, it's going to be four stars. So I'm going to give it four toes up on the Pancast rating. Um, I think it's well worth anybody that is a horror fan, anybody that is a Stephen King fan, um, go and watch it. Um, you, you will be, you may have nightmares or you may like just be worried about being in the dark for a while. Uh, I'm now going to have to go back into the house and go where it's dark. So I'm going to have the phone on i think i need to so that's it so i hope you uh enjoyed the review uh please leave your comments if you've seen the film or if you won't go and see the film um it'd be interesting to know what you think and also uh come and subscribe to the channel and uh if you do subscribe why not hit the notification button the little bell icon and you'll get notified every time we release a new video and if you want to come and listen to all the different podcasts that we do go to our website pancast.co.uk all of our podcasts are on there um and all the links to all the different shows that we do and the different podcasts whether it's music or movies or just our fun pancast show that we do every week uh just come along and uh, come and see 
what we do. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, And uh, go and have a number two.